Whoa, this game's super cool. I can't wait to play it. Here we go. Ah! Is this you? Then you've come to the right place. I'm gonna teach you everything you need to know to be a pro in 2024. Whether you're a complete 100% beginner or you've played before, there will be a section in the description or you can go to the timeline to find the part that fits you best. If you already feel like you've mastered a skill, just skip that section of the video. Or if you really need to learn a specific part, skip to that portion of the video. But if you're brand new, this video is perfect for you. If you watch from the beginning to the end, I can assure you that you will become a pro at Gorilla Tech. For this tutorial, we're assuming that you made it out of that area up there and jumped down. Holy cow, you just fell from the room up there or what we call tutorial. You don't have any cosmetics. We'll get to that. First, we have to learn how to walk. But first, I have to explain some things. You see your hands? Yeah, I know, they're pretty cool. You can move with them, but they're not the only thing that can hit the ground or what we call collision. You see your hands? They have collision, but your head also has collisions. Boom, it can push you. Your body, your head, and your hands. Now, this means your arm can pass through objects. It looks weird, but you'll get used to it. And that allows us to be able to have more mobility later on. Right now, let's learn how to walk. Walking's pretty simple, but you have to remember that walking is hard in real life, so you're gonna have to learn how to walk in Gorilla Tech, and it'll take some time. All right, the first step is to take your hand, push down, and move. Lift, push down, and move. This is what I see a lot of beginners struggle with. This is how they walk. And obviously, that's very slow and isn't going to avoid a tagger. So to avoid this, we have to do parallel motion. So the ground is relatively flat along this surface. We're going to imagine a very flat surface along the ground. Take your hand and move it along the ground like this instead of making these big circle motions. So you're going to put your hand down and very parallel. You're not moving like this. And the way it's going to look for you is like this very parallel motions and as you can see we're starting to move and you can speed up this process to a very fast walk once you start to get the hang of walking we're gonna go on running running can be pretty difficult it's not just very fast parallel walking running's not just a hit up but a hit forwards what you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the ground this kind of fast angle this sharp angle moves you in this direction now you're not gonna get very far if you just do that if we do this sharp at like a 45 degree angle hit we get launched pretty far quick 45 degree angle. If we do these in a row, we start to get this kind of running motion going. To make our running even more advanced, you can add a flick of the hand. Once you hit down, flick your hand. As you can see, when you flick your wrist, you do get a little push. So on top of your big motion, at the last little end, you flick your wrist, get even more momentum. If you do this really fast with both your hands, you can start to get some crazy speed and momentum. Some things you can do to help are take your hands like this and rotate them in a circle, like you're spinning a wheel. If you place this on the ground, you can start to move pretty fast. This is awesome. Your first few steps at becoming a pro. <laughs> Get it? Steps. This is going to be a little more advanced for running. This is jumping. Here's how you jump. You're going to take your hands and you're going to hit as straight down as possible. So imagine a very invisible pole right here. You're going to follow your hand along that pole and lift both your hands up and with one hand go along that pole and hit straight down. What you'll find is when you go straight down, you go backwards a little bit or forwards a little bit and you can't always control which direction you go. You're just kind of going all over the place. But what if you want to jump up there? You line up, you get ready, and you hit and you go the completely wrong direction. How do we fix this? What you'll notice is when you're hitting, your wrist goes all over the place. You need to make your wrist as steady as possible. By keeping it straight, you get a more accurate hit. You can help this by not making a big motion when you're hitting. Going right near your body gets you as straight up as you can. To add direction in is when you use your wrist. By going straight down, add a flick of your wrist in the direction you want to go. It's like this. So when you hit down at an angle like so, Boom! You go up in the air and you move over. So you're not always going to get the height you need. So reach up with your hand. Then you're just going to push down and then start walking. But the important thing is that you're ready to reach up. Great! You're already three steps closer to becoming a pro. Now, the next thing we need to learn is wall jumping. Wall jumping will come in handy not only on these two slabs of wood here, but anywhere that there's two surfaces you can bounce off of. Wall jumping can be pretty difficult, but it's quite 
quite simple once you break it down. So let me break it down for you. Wall jumping looks like this. I'm gonna show you, then I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Like we said earlier, your arm cannot interact with other objects, only your hand. This applies to your fingers as well. Your fingers don't count. If you make your hand into a fist, that's the only part that interacts with other objects. So we can take that into consideration. Now the way Gorilla Tech's physics work is if your hand is moving, your body stays afloat. What this looks like is if I put my hand on the wall and I raise myself up a little bit, I stay in the air that whole time until my arm reaches its max length and then I fall. So taking this weird game mechanic by hitting at an angle, just like jumping, we're gonna hit at an angle, but instead of going along the ground, we're gonna go along the wall. Now I'm gonna ask you to do something. The best way to learn is muscle memory. So I'm gonna show you how you can master these skills using muscle memory. Muscle memory is when you do something over and over and you're basically able to do it with your eyes closed. Without thinking, just run up and start doing what you've practiced. Now, what I'm gonna show you is the muscle memory techniques I use to memorize wall jumping. You want to jump up on the wall, catch it, and push back down. It looks a little weird. For me, I'm starting with my left hand. We're gonna do it with both hands, just three times. Catch the wall and hold it as long as you can. And then jump up. That's all, just really fast. So one, two, three. Now practice with your right hand. One, two, three. Now that we've done it three times pushing off the wall down, let's change that and push up. So now we're gonna jump off and jump up as high as you can. One, two, three. So now do it with your left hand. Hold it as long as you can and then up. Two, three. Now we're gonna add a step. By doing this, we learn the muscle memory for each individual step and then we add something to it. At first we practice sticking to the wall, then we practice jumping off the wall, and then we practice jumping up the wall. Doing these slowly over time, building on the knowledge you already have, ingrains it in your brain and makes it super easy to learn. We're gonna take our other hand. Catch it. Two. Do it again and catch it. Three. Now we're gonna with our left hand. Catch it. Catch it. Catch it. Now we're just gonna repeat these. Nothing complicated, just one on top of the other. Catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. And what you'll find is after a little bit of practice, it's really easy to see that you're just doing all these steps that we've been practicing over and over. And then you're going to catch it with your hand. This next segment is a mini segment that I'm just adding for the new players who want to get up to treehouse. This one can be really hard to climb, but really it's just patience. You just gotta go slow. Arm, put down, lift, put your other arm up, lift, and if you go really, really slow, eventually try to go as slow as possible and you'll make it up here. And remember to take some time to practice everything you've learned. So far we've learned jumping, walking, running, and wall jumping. The most important thing is practice and patience. But for this next thing, we're gonna find the wall jumping slab. We wanna be on top. How do we do that? Launch ourselves up and, and we go all the way to the top. That was definitely more difficult than wall jumping, but it's way easier than some of the stuff we're gonna do later. It's actually pretty simple. So we're gonna put our arms out and grab it. Once you've grabbed it, we're gonna throw ourselves up. Throw ourselves. Oh, hold on. We have to grab it again. So, grab it, throw ourselves up, and uh oh. We can't grab it. We throw ourselves up and we can't reach it. Instead of thrusting ourselves straight down or backward, we want to pull ourselves towards it. So, making a motion like this and doing this over and over, we're gonna try this. At an angle, at an angle, grab, at an angle, grab it. Once you get around about here, you go straight up and reach your hands around the edge. Now what's really cool about pinch climbing is you can do it anywhere. Some surfaces can be easy like this, and sometimes even trees have points. You want to find points like this where you can grab on. In your hands, you got to move fast because they're sliding towards the center. So if you grab it and pull up and do it again. And the easiest place to practice is over at these wall jumping slabs where you can just make your way up. Holy cow, you're learning so much. I love seeing the new players learning how to walk, taking their first steps to wall climbing, which we'll get to later. So be sure to subscribe with notifications. I'm trying to condense a ton of information down to a video that is simple and you can understand. If you're new to Gorilla Tech, I make super fun videos and you don't want to miss out. Let's keep learning. The last thing that I would consider basic techniques that I want to teach you before we move on to the more advanced stuff is branching. Branching is used forever and always as long as there are trees in the forest. It's a very important thing to learn. I'm going to show you these paths that we will memorize to help you get better at branching. Obviously, the point of the game is to avoid taggers or lava monkeys. The goal is to avoid lava monkeys at all costs. So we're down here on the ground, they're running at you. The thing about Gorilla Tech is that lava monkeys or taggers of any sort are faster than you. Because if you're running, they're running, they're just gonna catch up to you by default. A good way to start with branching is trying to get up to the stump. So how do we get up there? I'm gonna teach you by showing you a route. Routes are what people call memorized branching paths. This route that I'm gonna show you is one of the more basic routes. We're gonna walk up the slide and maybe they're chasing you. You get here 
here, and you jump in the opposite direction and land here. This jump takes some practice. You want to go on an angle like this and catch yourself here. So if you haven't got jumping down, make sure you have jumping down. Then you're going to make your way over here, and you're just going to jump at another angle and aim for this branch and catch it. Once you're on this branch, it's a simple hop to here, and you're gonna jump up onto this branch. Now there's two things you can do. I'm gonna show you the easiest one first. So once you're on this branch that goes over here, jump onto the branch that's holding that platform, and then just jump straight up and grab the platform. Now that you're up here, the simple hop, skip. Let's go over it one more time, super fast. That way you can see what it looks like in live action, and I'll explain it as I go. So you're getting chased by a tiger. Uh-oh, this tiger is coming. You run up the slide, you jump at an angle, behind them, throwing them off. Jump up to this branch. One, two, three, four. They're all in a row, super easy. Jump straight up and grab it. Jump up to one more branch, and then jump up to the big branch to attached to hollow tree. And now you can go wherever you want. Now I'm gonna show you this route with the second ending. This route is such a good route for beginners. Once you're on the slide, everything's gonna be normal till we get to that branch, so let's do it. Jump over to the gazebo, then we jump onto this branch and jump onto this branch. And then we go here. Normally we jump to that branch and go up, but we can turn around and jump to this branch here. Now this lets us work our way over here, which is a great way to just completely change it up. But if you're trying to get to the same spot jump up here and now that you're up here just jump to this bridge and then you're gonna go to this one and then this one this is the hardest jump of this part of the route just jump over here and catch this bridge and then jump up here now I'm gonna show you this route super fast so let's just go you're getting chased jump here but instead you turn around and go up here and then you jump and then jump and then you're gonna make this difficult jump around and up once you feel like you've got those two routes down, I'm gonna show you a more advanced route. This one's pretty difficult as you start on the ground straight to a branch. It's a little high up there, but you can always tap off the tree if it helps. So the way this is gonna start is you're gonna find the campfire. Just to the right is this tree that has a platform on it. Go up to it and jump onto this tree branch. If you can't jump that high, do a little tap off the wall. Then you're just gonna jump up to this branch and then you have two options. Turn around and jump to this one. If that's too hard, you can tap off this branch here and tap off this branch to get up here and then you can jump jump and then you just get up here so let me show you this again we jump up to this branch up here if you need to bounce off that jump to this branch hop over here and then just walk across this really long one and you can jump up to the right and now you're up on top if you want to go a completely different direction jump up to this branch jump up here you can go to this one instead you might need to get a little closer so you can land on it then turn around and just walk up it and then you can jump to this platform here now let me show you that one in quick succession we i'm going super duper fast this is so much fun going up and up and now I'm on top and for this route I'm going to give you one more variation once you get up to this branch here if you are able to maybe work your way up a little bit it's a hard jump but you can jump up to this branch right here working your way under the support and over the light post or the lights you can jump up onto here so you're gonna jump up up and then go up to this one here and then you'll be here. congratulations you've made it past the beginner section of this video if you've actually taken time and practiced everything that I've shown you you are ready to move on to the advanced stuff what do i mean by advanced stuff this video is actually only part one in a two-part series this was just the basics if you can master everything on this list by the time that i release the advanced part of this series you will be ready to learn things like juking wall climbing literally running up walls It'll be crazy, but make sure you practice. So make sure you subscribe with notifications so you don't miss out on that video. Peace.